Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at common triples that are associated with the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, here is a common triple, a 3, 4, 5. And what makes it a common triple is it works in the Pythagorean Theorem. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So we've got the, the whole numbers, 3, 4, and 5 that are a common triple in the Pythagorean Theorem. Now below it I've drawn a triangle and you've got the side of 6, one of the legs, and the hypotenuse with a side of 10 and an unknown uh, side of x. Now if you'll notice this shows you this common triple. Okay, 3 and 6 are actually associated with each other. Those are corresponding sides and if I double 3 I get 6 and if I double 5, I get 10. Therefore, if I double 4, I will get 8. So the missing side is 8. So this is just applying the Pythagorean theorem triple to an actual problem. So you're looking for um, shortcuts for the Pythagorean theorem triples. Okay, so what is the actual rules to do this? And then we're going to make a chart in a second. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your common triple and you're going to multiply each side by the same factor. So we have a 3, 4, 5 and the example I showed you we multiplied each side by 2 to get a 6, 8, 10 triangle. You could also go back and multiply 3, 4, and 5 by 3 so you get 9 and 12 and 3 times 5 is 15. And you can do that with 4, 10, it could be a 30, 40, 50, right triangle, any of those. So what are the common triples? Let me show you all the common or several of the common triples that you will see. Okay, 3, 4, 5s and multiples of those. A 5, 12, 13 is also a common triple because 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. 25 plus 144 equals 169. Okay, and these are three more common triples, the 7, 24, 25, the 8, 15, 17, and the 20, 21, 29. So those are common triples that you can take and multiply each side by common factors. So let's set up a table just so you can see how this is done. Okay, since I showed you the 3, 4, 5 triple first, this time I'm going to use the 5, 12, 13. So if I were to make a table of possible values, I'm just going to draw the 5, 12, 13 on top and make a list. Okay, if I multiply by 1, I get the 5, 12, 13. If I multiply by 2, I would get sides of 10, 24, and 26. Whoops, 26. Multiply by 3, that's 15, 36, 39, if I multiply by 4, that's going to give me, what, 20, 48, and 40, 52. So those would be sides of a right triangle that would be whole numbers that you might recognize from this family of the 5, 12, 13 triple. Hope this one was helpful.